The annual International Seafarers Welfare Awards recognize excellence in welfare services by shipping companies, ports, voluntary organizations and individuals. The 2012 awards ceremony was held in the main hall of the International Maritime Organization in London. Seafaring can be a lonely profession with much time spent away from the comfort of home and the companionship of friends and family, punctuated only by increasingly short period ashore, typically in a port area remote from the city center and with all the problems of language and currency often associated with time in a foreign country. In addition, external threats such as piracy, abandonment, and the frequent danger often associated with the sea add an unusual degree of stress and pressure to seafarers' everyday working lives, all of which makes the importance of adequate and appropriate welfare facilities, both on board ship and ashore, something that cannot be overemphasized. The award for Shipping Company of the Year went to Shell Shipping. It was accepted by a group of Shell Fleet officers, including Siobhan O'Leary. Yes, we're, we're very happy to have gotten an award for this because it is something that we really strive to do. I mean, the safety is one aspect, but we ensure that on board there's facilities for people to relax and to chill out. We also have good communications on board so they can stay in touch with their families at home and that they're not completely lost when they're at sea, that that um, bond that with their families is still ever most present. The award for Port of the Year went to the Port of Kandla, one of Western India's busiest in Gujarat state. We established an institutions, we included all the important stakeholders including port users, steamship agents, and uh, labor unions and we gave them the power to decide how to look after the seafarer welfare. I am very happy that Kandla Port we have got the state of art seafarer welfare organ uh, organization now working over there and we have got a huge appreciation from all over the world from various seafarers who have visited our port. The title Seafarer Center of the Year was awarded to Seafarer's House in Port Everglades, USA. It's a cumulative effort. I have a wonderful team. I have a great group of supporters at home and a great board of directors. And we have a marvelous relationship with the port where we are working, as well as the county in which that port resides, Broward County in, in uh, Florida. But we've also given a great deal of thought to what is it that the mariners really need. And we check with them regularly. We uh, keep in touch with the ones that we make friends with. When they're visiting us, we say, what is it that we can do for you? And they help us tweak our services. Um, so there's always an eye and an ear towards what is it that the mariners really want when they come to a good seafarer center. All candidates and the winners of the ICSW awards are nominated by seafarers themselves. But when it came to the Welfare Personality of the Year, two candidates were outstanding and judges had difficulty in deciding on a winner. And then we come to the conclusion that we would have to have the award shared by two persons. And we've decided that will happen this year. Being nominated in this award, uh, an international award is something beyond our expectations. We would never have thought that we would be uh, in this category or in this arena. Um, the arena we, we work in is fairly small, but to receive a nomination for uh, this Personality of the Year award is something that's really um, surprised me because I didn't know I was nominated. But it also will help a number of other people in our community as well in the way in which I'm, I'll be, I'm really the, uh, the person carrying a number of other people with me on this award. It's not just for me, but it's really for the seafarers themselves. But for the centre, we're really, it'll, it will enthuse us like we've, um, we'll be really excited. 
The meaning is uh, to give visibility to seafarers. They have no visibility on board of a ship, they have no vi visibility in our ports. All the people I'm working with, uh, they do want to, to show the, the values of the seafarers, how much important they are and uh, how much we should be grateful to them because everything we do have, almost 90% of everything we use, everything we commerce in uh, comes from the sea, from their hard work. The final award, the drop-in centre of the year, was accepted by Captain Seagar from the MPA on behalf of Keppel Terminal in the Port of Singapore. After the ceremony, as the IMO's main hall emptied, ICSW Executive Director Roger Harris spoke about the value of awards in providing benchmarks of achievement for the benefit of all. The, the real purpose of the awards really is to promote uh, excellence in seafarers' welfare. I think around the world there's some really good things happening and part of the main aim of the awards is to, to shine a spotlight on that in, in shipping companies, in ports, in seafarers' welfare and also to recognise individuals who have done a lot of good work with seafarers because often they're forgotten about or, or not recognised and the point of the awards is to recognise these people and also within the industry to, to raise the, the profile of seafarers' welfare within the industry.